Alright, boy. PUP Freetown Air Representative Francis Fonseca and UDP Standard Bearer for the Division, Erson O.J. Ellington, say they want to have the estimated 30 families who are facing eviction in Belama Phase 4. And why am I here today? It's because we want to find a solution for these individuals, for these people. I am here because I am the UDP Standard Bearer for the constituency. I was called by several residents and asked to intervene. On January 28, the residents were given the notice to vacate. They were told that Alex Chang owns the property. They were told that they have one month to dismantle their houses and move out. But the two politicians can't agree on a very important issue. Is Alex Chang of Fenland Development the owner of the property in question? This is the first time we're hearing about any Alex Chang owning this property. And I, I'm here a representative here since 2003. This is the first time I'm hearing about that. Um, so we need to, to see if, in fact, that is the case. We've got no proof of that. I had made a request for the title for the property, but I made the, I made the query to the Lands Department in Belmopan, and they have verified the fact that Mr. Chang has the, that, this, that this area is owned by Finland. So it is just a matter of seeing the size, etc. But it has been verified. In the notice to vacate, Chang, through the Williams Law Firm, ask the residents to provide copies of their Belizean passport and or nationality papers in two weeks. Chang will review the documents that determine if he shall allow the residents to enter into a lease agreement. This is ultimately Mr. Chang's land. I have not seen the letter from the attorney. I can only tell you what was my conversation and proposal with Mr. Chang. And again, he did make it absolutely clear that moving forward, any persons who want to obtain property, that want to get a lease here, they need to be Belizeans. Now, whether or not there was some missing, something missing in the translation for that, I don't know. Again, but as I know it, that was exactly what was his proposal. Well, first of all, he has absolutely no right to ask anybody to produce their nationality documents or, or any other type of identification. That, that, he has no right to do that. Um, sh sure, if he can, he still has not, as I said, produced to the people. I sent along with any of his letters, along with any of the letters I've seen, he has not sent a copy of his land title uh, to this property. Um, he may produce that, fine. But I'm saying even if he does, there is a legal process that he has to follow. And it does not involve making demands of the people to present nationality documents. And while these two politicians say they want to assist the people, they say they see no need for them to work together. I have no problem with anyone wanting to help if you're acting in good faith. And if in fact you want to help the residents of Belama and not your interest is to help the owner of the property, I have a problem with that. If you want to find a solution that will benefit the residents of Belama, then I'm prepared to work with you. I will sit with anybody so long, but that is not the message that I have received. I've received that his camp is making mischief, telling these people total and complete lies, misrepresenting the facts, will you lying to them. That is what I understand that his camp, if not himself, is doing. Allegedly. But, allegedly. That is what, again, because everything here is uh, allegedly. Why do we have to come together? I just outlined for you if he wants to be helpful, what I think he should do. I'm not really interested in anything the UDP has to say about Belamo. They have completely destroyed this community. Will you approach him if the whole issue is I we don't want need the to, best uh, for the people? I don't, why would I need to approach him? You wait for him to approach you? He can approach me. He can approach me. He I said am he would not. Well, that is fine for him. I have no problem with that. It's better if you guys work together for the benefit of the people. And again, so why should I approach him? For what reason? Someone, what someone must make the first step. Someone must extend nobody, the olive branch. Nobody has, nobody has given him authority to act on, on their behalf. I am he the is one. the air representative of Freetown. Okay. And that means what? He's, been, a, he's a totally abandoned. I don't think he's ever been behind here before. He is, as, he, is as, he is as foreign. He is as foreign as a Yankee to this area. I don't even I don't think if he ever came behind here before, this would be a new thing to him. He's been that, meeting with the people since two weeks ago, he says, and the people called him you today. Him? You believe him? Do you, sir? Absolutely not. 
if you're acting in good faith and you want to be helpful, sit down with your government and let them understand that they should acquire these properties. If this man prepared for rent land to people for $50 a month, let the government buy the land from him, let him sell the land to the government, and then we can develop the land properly for the benefit of the people who live here. Hippolyte Novello, News 5.